Hello Watch World. Uh, as promised, I'm going to go through a couple of my other watches that uh, I can't find a lot of videos for. I'm just trying to be helpful here and show people some stuff. This is my Gustav Becker. I'll try to get you a nice close-up. I was searching for a skeletonized watch and I came across this beautifully done piece here. This is um, by Sugas. Um, my first uh, let's see your first skeletonized watch I found I rushed to buy after seeing one on Long Island watch a review by Mark at Long Island watch he was talking about his swatch and this one I found it's called Uncle Charlie and you can see here it's got uh, got the hands uh, which are have aluminum so you can see them uh, they're nice black contrast and you can see the movement in there beaten away but it isn't very decorative. Um, I think the numerals are almost more decorative than... But you can see in there, and it's pretty, and it's on a nice bracelet. It's got a um, cheap press clasp, so it's a little janky. And one thing I didn't like was that the back was tinted. And it has a rotor there, so you can't really quite... You can't quite really see the movement in the back unless you spin it at a perfect angle. And the rotor's got swatch on there. But the other thing I didn't like was that um, it has a bracelet. Um, so you can't, it's always in the way when you're trying to look look and see the movement. And I think with a skeletonized watch, you really want to just see the movement all the time. If it's on your wrist, you can see it, and it's not bad. But uh, after I'd already ordered this, I found the Sue Guess on AliExpress. This is, uh, I think they call it the it's a seagull movement, ST3600, and it even says something about Constantine Vacheron. I really don't know what that is about, but it's got rose gold indices and black hands, which are a little harder to see, but not impossible. No seconds hand, but uh, this is a manual wind watch. Uh, I really just fell in love with it. It's gorgeous. The uh, ad on AliExpress shows really good macro shots and just how beautiful it is. Um, the back's beautiful. And, and also while I was searching for it, I found another one. Thank you, COVID. Got me online looking at watches too much. But this other Suges, I'll do a review of this one too because I don't see a lot of reviews about it. This is a Moon Phase watch. Uh, and it's also manual wind. It's got the uh, another beautiful movement in it. It's got the... Um, was it the 1908 movement? So it's a mechanical chronograph, uh, amazing price, and just beautiful texture dial. I just really fell in love with that one. It's beautiful texture all over it. Um, oh, well, back to the watch I'm supposed to be reviewing. <laughs> I'll do another review on that one. I'll give you more close ups on that. Uh, that'll be one of my other. And I'm also going to do some reviews on these carnivals, so stay tuned or subscribe if you want to find out about those coming out. This one's just so beautiful. Look at the back of this. This movement's amazing. And it also came on a... It came on a croc strap. A faux croc. I don't like faux croc, so I took that right away off. And I found a nice antique uh, leather strap. I think this one's like bison, buffalo hide, something like that. It's just beautiful. And I didn't want the... It came with a came with a let's see here a deployment clasp that's what they call those a deployment clasp which would have been in the way so I wanted to get that out of the way from the lessons I learned from my uh, swatch to show off that beautiful back and let me wind this thing up so you can see it moving and ticking you can hear that and you get like a um, you get like a uh, improvised kind of, what do they call that, a hour indicator or whatever. So you can kind of see how wound up your mainspring is. You see all of it. You get to watch your mainspring wind up. You get to see the beats ticking. You get to watch that tick. Oh, it's beautiful. And even in the back, as you're winding it, you get to see, you know, the way winding... Uh, gears do their thing it's a beautifully done look at all that scroll work on the movement 
this was 120 bucks and I had bought another watch just because of the value like this it was this uh, caddis in here this caddis and diamond because it had a real fancy Miyota movement uh, high beat movement and it was um, you know just such a good value and this one is an amazing value um, let me get my other watch box out of the way and take a little closer look get you some measurements all right so without that deployment clasp just lets you check out that whole watch I was really impressed with the watch it just it looks so beautiful it's advertised at 42.5 millimeter and I was really hoping 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 because I have a small wrist I got a six and three quarter inch wrist I was really hoping they were measuring with the crown um, which unfortunately they weren't <laughs> they this is best as I can measure 42.8 42.6 it's right there um, and so that that it's not unwearable because it's also very thin it is 9.6 9.6 so it's a real thin watch so even though it's big the thinness is um, kind of helps with that Oh, beautiful watch. Keep going to it. Um, the lugs are 20.8, so 21 mil. Um, I got a nice tapering uh, watch strap there. Beautiful. The the another downside, another bummer because of my small wrist is the lug width or length, 50.6. So it's like 51. <laughs> it's just a little bit big. Still wearable. Um, because of its thinness and and it's all dial here it's just all dial there's it just looks huge it's all beautiful dial I'll get you a little wrist shot um, it, back to value uh, an amazing value with the get this turned on here it's advertised as sapphire so I had and I haven't been able to find any videos so I needed to find out if it was sapphire on the front and back now let's take a look and find out. Need one more, one more light on that first. There you go, the color they put, they paint, this is obviously painted, but uh, beautiful blue screws. Alright, we got a, we got a light. So... It is sapphire, as far as I can tell. Sapphire on the front. And just mineral glass on the back. But it feels like a very thin sapphire. It isn't a dive watch. If you tap it, it isn't as thick as some sapphire on some of my other watches. Yeah, sapphire on the front. So there you go, and it's unside and crown, but it's a very just a smooth, clean, polished, polished case. The idea here being uh, just drag everyone's attention right to that movement, the beautiful scroll work on the movement. Oh, power indicator. That's what I was thinking. It's like an improvised power indicator. Eh, you know how brains seem to work. All right. Love the strap I put it on. Let's get it on wrist uh, before that. Got to get you a wristwatch check. Wearing the Islander. Since I mentioned Mark earlier, I figured I'd better wear his Islander. The 38 millimeter green beast. Love that. All sapphire, sapphire. And I replaced the strap with the better, with a better um, strap code one. I like the Jubilee on an SKX. I like the Jubilee look. It just keeps it more authentic. <laughs> okay. All right, there she is on wrist. Um, I took the Suges buckle off of the other Suges, that chronograph, so I can keep it matching, although it doesn't mention Suges anywhere on the watch, but <laughs> I felt I should give them credit. Way to go, Suges. They're producing some pretty nice watches. That's a seagull movement that's been decorated and beautiful. You can see that the, um, the lugs are just a little bit long for my thin wrist, but it's not unwearable because it is real thin. It's uh, very thin. 
even though it's like almost 43 mil, but it just draws all your attention right to that beautiful, uh, beautiful dial, and you get to see straight through it. My only regret is I wish it was easier to pop off and show people the beautiful back, because um, I always want to show off this watch. All right, guys. Um, subscribe to get notified of my other reviews when they pop up, and if you've got any questions, feel free to ask. I'll, uh, I'm just happy to put this out there so people can actually see this watch. It's not getting any credit out there. <laughs> More people should be buying this one. Beautiful watch, especially if you have a little bit bigger wrist. Anything over about a 7, this thing would fit just beautiful. It doesn't fit bad. It looks pretty good, even on my 6 and 3 quarter. Thanks, guys. Later.